Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Raipati and welcome back to my channel Raipati. Today we are going to discuss a very peculiar scenario. Now, this is the source sheet and uh, set action is applied on both these sheets. Okay. Now, general general work of uh, set actions is like when I select on office supplies, yeah, you should get office supplies. When I unselect this, now you can see the category set here, office supplies is selected. When I unselect this, now generally it will go back to all the values in the category set. But my requirement is that whenever there is a uh, all when whenever there is and there is that is unselected like you have all the values in your category set then it should go to a default value here which i chose it as a furniture now this is a regular action now this is what we have to achieve so i have done this with the lods so please follow me very carefully guys because it is a little bit complicated now first what is a what is our first step first step should be Whenever there is all of these, whenever in your category set, when you have all the values, then you should you should be able to get only furniture out of it, right? So first we need to get the scenario where you will recognize that there are all values in your category set. Now how do we do that? For that, let me take a calculation field. Now here, I am going to write a LOD, which is fixed, okay, category column, if category set, then category end, okay. Now here we will get an error that is because we may we didn't put an aggregation. Now I am putting an aggregation count distinct. Okay. Now uh, number of members in cat set. Okay. Now I say apply. We'll re we'll revisit this calculation. So I'm clicking on OK. Now let me drag my category here or first I'll what I'll do is I'll drag my calculation number of members into the text. Also the same time I will drag my category set. Okay. Now this is just a normal set case. Normal set that is cre I created on category. Now this I will say show set. Okay. See now all are selected. Now one if it is selected it is showing two. See. So it is working perfectly. But now when I drag category here you are getting. That is because again when you have category in the view. It is the, the total three is getting divided for each one. But I don't want that to happen because I will be using this uh, value three whatever we got in, in an, another sheet. So there we cannot uh, let it work like this. So I am going to revisit my calculation and I will make this a table scope alone. So that my three or whatever the value number of uh, value of number of uh, members in category set, it will stay the same. So yeah, now I put this in as a table scope. Okay, now if you see it has changed to 3. Now again if I remove 1 it will change to and even if I remove technology it will change to 1. Okay, we have achieved to, uh, like that point where we get how many members are present in the category set at any given point. Okay, now we have to uh, write a calculation to set our default value and also normal values. So for that, I'm going to take one more calculated field. And in this, if, okay, now we already wrote a calculation, right? Number of members in the cat set. Now when it is equal to three, so when it is equal to three, when all the members are present in the category set. So when will that happen? When you have unselected, right? So then 
and again I am writing a calculated field. This is where I fix the default value. If category is equal to furniture, then category end. Okay. This here I am fixing my default value. Now, what happens based on the set action? No. Else, again an if calculation, if category is set, then category end. Okay. Now, I am going to end this. Okay. So, what, are, what did we do here? Now, when all, when the number of members in the category set is 3, which is the maximum for this category, then I, uh, I want only furniture to be shown. Now, what happens if uh, for the others, they will be showing null, then uh, null as a value, then we will handle them separately. Now, here, if it is less than 3, if the number of members in my category set is less than 3, then give me category. Okay. Now, I am saying, let, let me name this as uh, uh, cat set with default. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now, in this, I am taking my category and also my sales and i am taking one more new sheet and in this i will be taking my uh, where is this cat set with default that is what we have written right now let me show you that cat set with default so this is the calculation that we wrote right now and then i am going to drag my subcategory and then I'll going to drag my cells. Now we don't want nulls to be shown, right? So I'll just right click on this and I'll say exclude. So that value is being filtered. Null values are being filtered. Okay. Now I'm taking a new dashboard where I'll be dragging this sheet five, which will be my uh, category and sheet 6 with my category and subcategory okay now nothing will happen because there is no set action now let me go here and go to actions and i'll say add action and change set values now what should happen whatever whatever we select in 5 should be applied on the set so here i'll say sheet 5 is selected and i'll check category set now this is the same values to set whenever you have selected and when you have unselected or add all values to set okay and then okay. now see if i click on technologies i'll get my technologies if i unselect my technologies it is giving me furniture the same will happen with office supplies and again furniture there is no change because that is the default value right so this is how you okay i hope you understand uh, you understood this guys and if you still don't understand please mention in the comments what your doubt is and i'll try to get back to you and also <clears throat> my uh, also please do like share subscribe my channel rai party and also share it with your friends <coughs> who are working on tableau and are looking for support on tableau okay thank you guys thanks a lot